Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the lesser known dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise. An animal that actually has roots all the way back to the original movie, but unfortunately has yet to be featured physically on the big screen. This is also notably one of the only animals in the franchise to come from the Triassic period, making it one of the oldest dinosaurs in all JP media. This is one of the most important animals from the early Mesozoic. The animal paleontologists have named Herrera's Lizard. Herrerasaurus was a member of the Herrerasauridae family, and it was first discovered by Victorino Herrera in the late 1950s. Early on, paleontologists believed this animal to be one of the earliest examples of a carnosaur, but over the last several decades, this classification has come into question by a number of other scientists. Much of the confusion surrounding this dinosaur had to do with so little of its remains being located upon its initial discovery, with only small fragments of its bones to go off of at this time. However, in 1988, a nearly complete skull and skeleton would be located and studied, which would ultimately lead paleontologists to the conclusion that this dinosaur was more than likely a bipedal theropod that did indeed have a carnivorous diet. Herrerasaurus' mouth was equipped with several sharp meat-eating teeth, its slender skull looking far different from many of the other dinosaurs that would evolve specific characteristics in the millions of years to follow. They did actually come complete with a flexible joint in their lower jaws, however, which is believed to have been used to help grasp and hold on to prey in the late Triassic. Interestingly, this animal shares some physical traits that come from a wide variety of different dinosaur types. Notably, their vertebral centra is looking similar to that of the Jurassic predator Allosaurus, and the pubis bones pointing backwards just like a bird's. For a long time, some people even believed that the animal could have been a sauropodomorph due to its odd characteristics. This has led the specifics of the dinosaur to be studied and questioned for several years after its discovery. Usually, it's described as a basal theropod or basal cerician. Growing to an estimated 20 feet long and weighing in at what we believe to be 770 pounds, Herrerasaurus shared its environment with other creatures like the Eoraptor, Saurosuchus, and Hyperodapodon. And the formation from which it was discovered was once a volcanic floodplain with lots of forests to live in. Roaming the lands of what is now Argentina, Herrerasaurus has the prestige of being labeled one of the earliest known dinosaurs to have ever lived. Unfortunately, 230 million years ago, the creature would fall into extinction. But after engine scientists were able to find its DNA, they were successfully able to create their very own genetically engineered Herrerasaur. Jurassic Park's Herrerasaurus were bred on Isla Sorna by the genetics company. During the events of the first movie, four individuals were present on Nublar. However, all of them were found dead during Dr. Wu's cleanup operation in October of 1994. And to add insult to injury, all viable embryos of the animals were said to have been destroyed after the cold storage units had flooded during the sabotage. Luckily, DNA samples were retrieved on Isla Sorna during the evacuation of Site B. However, no known specimens were ever recorded as to having lived on that island at any given point in time. Unlike many of the other dinosaurs that are featured on InGen's list, Herrerasaurus has yet to be shown in the film series, so we can't really know for sure just what it looks like in live action just yet. But we do actually have some soft canon information on the animal from both Jurassic Park the game and Jurassic World Evolution, the former of which shows us that the red-colored creatures shown in 1993 were not yet fully grown individuals, and that they could actually grow all the way up to 20 feet long just like their fossilized counterparts. They do, however, also come with engines trademark Mark pronated wrists, which bend down in a way that is very much improbable for the real-life animal. The creatures shown off in Jurassic World Evolution have a similar design to that of the 2011 game. However, they come in a variety of different color schemes that make them stand out from that older version. It's possible that we could actually see this guy make an appearance in the next Jurassic World movie, but until then, we can't really theorize too much on what it will look like in live action until we actually see it. So what do all of you guys think about the Herrerasaurus in the Jurassic Park franchise? Is this a creature that you'd love to see more of, or would you rather we get another animal that is yet to be seen? In my opinion, it would be a great addition to the franchise because it would add variation in carnivore sizes. But hey, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all even continue to watch these videos. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your continued support. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video and hope you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next one, guys. And as always, take it easy.